The background for the Drillmax project. Everything started early 2005 after uh, Stena Top Management had identified a need to expand uh, the deep water fleet of Stena Drilling. Uh, the first thing that happened is that the drilling professionals in, in Aberdeen they developed a design for a top side package, which is uh, drilling and subsea equipment. Uh, this top side package was developed to give uh, Stena a competitive edge. And once the work was done, we brought this design with us and we approached several shipyards around the world to find out if uh, we could develop a, a suitable platform to carry the topside package. We eventually uh, made an agreement with Samsung Heavy Industries in Korea to build the first vessel. The vessel is built to drill uh, at a water depth of uh, maximum 3,000 meters and a drilling depth of uh, 11,000 meters maximum. The drilling package is based on a fully hydraulic system, which means uh, that we are using very large lifting cylinders rather than the conventional draw works and uh, crown block solution. The basic vessel design is, uh, is a shuttle tanker double hull shuttle tanker. It's uh, 228 meters long or 750 feet. It's very wide, 42 meters. It has uh, six azimuth thrusters of uh, 5.5 megawatts each. Uh, there is a moon pool of uh, 25 by 12 meters through which all the drilling operations are done. There is a, a capacity for uh, 180 people on board. Propulsion, dynamic positioning, and the power generation is secured by a triple redundant system. That means we have three total independent circuits of uh, diesel electric power generation and distribution. Each of these uh, circuits are separated by watertight and fireproof uh, barriers, which gives us a high degree of uh, safety on board. The Drillmax vessels, they are uh, designed to operate in harsh environments in uh, any of the established operational areas worldwide, including the Norwegian continental shelf and the North Atlantic. Uh, currently it's only Stena who is uh, building vessels with this capacity. The temperature range in which uh, these vessels can operate is uh, all the way from uh, plus 35 degrees centigrade down to minus 20. And our number four vessel currently under construction, the Drillmax Ice, she is a fully winterized vessel intended for uh, Arctic service. We have a totally unique fully hydraulic uh, drilling package with a high degree of automation. And that gives us increased performance compared to uh, our competitors, increased precision, and we also drastically uh, reduce the number of manual operations on board and that improves the safety considerably. The Drillmax vessels have a high degree of uh, mobility thanks to the high uh, transit speed. Uh, they further have a very high load carrying capacity. This means that we can carry uh, fuel, water, drilling chemicals and any other consumable on board in great quantities. And this of course uh, reduces the amount of uh, supply needed at sea and it increases uh, the vessel's operational endurance. The vessels are further designed to the strictest requirements regarding a working environment. That means uh, we have to ful fulfill uh, requirements on noise level, vibration levels, illumination. Uh, we also need to make sure we have ample space for maintenance work, 
and for uh, movement of personnel and escape and evacuation.